hi uh, parking brake system and the whole circuit works uh, let's see it in more detail okay so this is the parking brake circuit which consists of the parking brake lever the gearbox the rear axle the propeller shaft etc so i am engaging the parking brake right now when the lever is lifted up the parking brake is getting engaged so it energizes the cable which is connected towards the parking brake system and the parking brake locks the wheel disc so that's the green one which is shown over there is the wheel disc it locked the parking brake actually locks the wheel disc uh, for information the wheel disc is actually connected towards the propeller shaft and the propeller shaft is that particular unit which transmits the drive from the gearbox towards the rear axle so when the wheel disc is locked the propeller shaft is locked and the drive from the gearbox towards the rear axle is locked so the tires won't rotate right okay so um, that's let's see each component that's the parking brake lever that's the cable connecting the parking brake lever and the parking brake system so that's our wheel disc that's the parking brake unit that's the gearbox that's the propeller shaft over there and that's our rear axle so i'm engaging you can see over there that green unit that's the uh, wheel disc it's rotating when the parking brake is not engaged because it's connected towards the propeller shaft which is carrying the drive from the gearbox towards the rear axle, right? And that result in our tires also to rotate, fine. So when the parking brake is getting engaged, you can see I'm engaging the parking brake. You can see the cables get energized. The parking brake locks our wheel disc. The green unit is the wheel disc. It locks the wheel disc and the wheel disc locks the propeller shaft because it is connected towards the propeller shaft and our tires stop to rotate. So that's how simply the parking brake system manually works or the circuit of a parking brake system works.